Hey everyone, we are live on Facebook. I'm just waiting for YouTube to be live. There we go. Hi everyone, it's Melody Lane. So to, I needed to do a few more Christmas cards. So hey I, everyone, we are oh, live on Facebook. There we go. <laughs> and Chocotour sent me this transfer uh, in a Christmas card. It's ex exclusive. You can't purchase this. And I thought this is perfect size for a Christmas card. And I pictured it on red. And so I'm like, I'm just going to cut out a card with my Cricut. And um, I put a little something on the inside. And then this is going to be the front. Wouldn't this look pretty? White chalk paste on red paper? I thought so. So we're going to do that. So Let's get started. If you never heard of Chaka Chor, go ahead and ask questions in all caps. And uh, we will try to answer your questions. I see there are some other Chaka Chor designers who are on my team. Uh, welcome. And they can try to answer your questions too. Merry Christmas, Sheila and everybody. Oh, and before we go anywhere, uh, we are doing a Cricut Design Space class tomorrow morning as always, and, um, oh, it's gonna be questions and answers because I don't have anything. I might show you how I did the inside of this card. So I'll do that and then I'll answer questions. So if you have questions and you want me to show you how to do them in Design Space, write down those questions or even message them to me and we will get your questions answered tomorrow. And we are doing a opening viewer mail I have a lot of viewer mail. So we're going to do that tomorrow after class. So we will see you tomorrow also. So let's get started on this card today. Hey, Bobby. Okay, so here is this. So I cut out two cards. Okay, I was like, where's everything? Um... So I'm gonna put that piece on this card and then I did that with uh, Cricut gel pens. This is just an image in access and it was all one color and I didn't want it all one color so I changed the colors just like I do when I show you how to do all that stuff in Design Space. Um, so that's gonna be the inside because this says peace. I thought peace and joy would be great. Okay, let's open this up. Okay, who here? Oh wait, I gotta see the chat. I'm not sure if I'm seeing any chat from Facebook or if people just are not commenting. So I can see your chat. Hi Joan and Bobby and Sue. And Lisa Marie and Barbara and Kathy and Sheila. <laughs> I love the smell of these. So if you don't know what chocolate is, chocolate is there's um, they call them transfers and they have a silk screen. So there's like a little silk screen between that. See how that is? Okay, what are we going to do first? And look at, I got a new little hair dryer. It's a tiny hair dryer, and it's so cute. It folds up, and it's so pretty. Isn't it awesome? It's so little, and it's pretty color. Okay, we're going to use white paste. And we're going to mix it up. Got that going. Now we need to fuzz this transfer, especially because we're going to do it on cardstock. And I'm going to do it on the smooth side of the cardstock. Cricut cardstock is smooth and texture sign. So I'm just going to take this off and I'm just going to fuzz it on this washcloth. And I'm going to do it a few times. What this does is it just makes this transfer to not be so sticky. 
because when it's brand new and I've never used this one, it's really sticky. Okay, I think that's enough. And we're gonna stick it on here. Merry Christmas, Sandy. Okay. Thanks, Bobby. Mm, I don't think that's even. That's good enough. Okay. So these have adhesive on them, so I'm putting some adhesive on there. And I got baby wipes right here. And I'm just gonna throw this down here to put this on there. Because I don't want to make a huge mess. Although it just wipes right off. And so I'm just taking the chalk paste, if you've never seen this before, and just wiping it on all the areas of the transfer, all the open areas. So now I'm going to kind of scrape it off. And then all of that, there's like no waste. You put it back in the jar. I kind of want to make sure I get this on there really good. I'm going to add more. Because I'm putting white chalk paste and red, dark red paper, and I just want to make sure it's going to get in there good. And wipe that all off. And I'm going to take it off. Look at how easy and fast that was. Look how pretty it is. Awesome. Oh, so exciting. I'm going to lay this transfer down. So I'm just going to clean the transfer. Right now I'm just going to lay it on there. Spray some water on it. Well, you know, Karen, I was wondering if you could do it with ink. I'm not sure if ink would work. Do you guys want me to try it with ink? I've never used ink on cardstock, and I asked somebody else in my upline, and they've never tried it either. You can just rinse these in water. And so I'm gonna let that dry. Wipe off the desk. Yeah, it dries really quick. I think it's dry. Yeah, it's dry. It's kind of easier than weeding, isn't it? Isn't it pretty? I love that. And then I can just, here's the card, those of you that just joined. I can't ever see this the lighting. But I'm gonna glue it on here. Isn't 
Isn't it beautiful? Bobby thinks it's too runny and get under the stencil, the ink. I was wondering that. I don't know. Should we do another one? Let's do the other one. I made two cards. Let's try it again. Oh, it's not totally dry yet, so I'm going to dry it with this. I have this Norwex cloth. Learned this from Ken Hess. Had to buy it because of him. The Norwex cloth takes all the moisture off. Put it back on the. You have to have the transfer dry before you use it again. You get lots of uses out of these. This transfer here is actually not available. It was just in a Christmas card that Chalk Couture sent me. It's always fun getting um, things from Chalk Couture. All right, let's do it again. Oh, I can see I didn't put this on very well. <laughs> this one might be just a little crooked. I wasn't paying attention. Oh no, and now I got paste on it. Good thing I already made a good one. Is everybody ready for Christmas? There's my second one. It's almost dry. And I'm just gonna clean this one again. And they're having a special deal where they're selling this kit that I don't even have access to. I guess I guess I get it if I pay full price or the deal price. But they're selling a kit. It's like a beginner starter kit. It does not sign you up to join Chocature. But it is a kit. It gives you a um, chalkboard and some paste and a transfer that is not yet available anywhere else. And once they sell out, they're gone. They sell out. So I'm going to show you what that is. I don't have it to show you. I really wish I did. So we're going to let this dry. My dogs are sleeping. You can probably hear them. Yeah, I was thinking I could probably add some snowflakes or something to that. Um... What was I going to show you? Oh, design space. Okay, here's this. Let me show you so you can see it better. This is a kit that they're selling. I love this. These are so, so pretty. And you can use different colors. They give you four different colors to use with this. They give you the squeegee you need, and they give you this chalkboard. 
There is a link to that in the description. Um, there's what it looks like when you're done. How beautiful is that? And it's so easy. Okay, do you guys have questions? If the card got wet, would the chalk stay on the paper? Hmm. Oh, should we try ink? Do you guys want to see what ink? I can uh, just do it on a piece of paper. See what it looks like. I've not tried it. If you're interested in chalk couture, you can go to my link and you can sign up or purchase things there too. Just to let you know. Bobby says, don't make me do it. You guys, I I was not interested in this until I tried it, and it is so much fun. My mom actually wants to do chocolate. She says she's not crafty. She doesn't do crafts, but she wants to try this, and we haven't gotten around to do that yet. I'm going to record her doing it for the first time. No, you don't need a special card stock to do cards. Um, should we try the ink? Let me find some ink. Okay, we're going to do silver ink. This is an older one. And we're just going to do it on the scrap paper. And because I have no idea if this is going to work. So you can use these transfers on ink, chalk ink, the chalk couture ink, or um, the chalk couture paste. I'll make sure this is all dry. It's like all sticky again. I need to fuzz it. And these can be used many, many times. Okay, this is an experiment. Hi, Jamie. Okay, we need to stir this up. I do not want to get white paste in my silver metallic ink. Look at how pretty that is. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And you can put this on shirts and you can use your easy press or an iron to heat set it and it makes it permanent. You can also put it on mugs and stuff and heat set it in the oven and it makes it permanent forever and ever. Okay. Okay, now remember, 
I've never tried this and I don't know if it's gonna work. So we're just doing it on scrap paper. It's nothing I'm gonna keep. Unless it's beautiful, then I may have to keep it. Can't believe how pretty this is okay you guys can't see how pretty it is <gasps> it's so pretty the chalk ink works I just want to clean this off look how pretty that is and it's sparkly I love the ink on the paper. Oh my gosh, I might have to make a lot more. So pretty. See, this ink is so pretty, even when it's on my finger. put it back on the sheet and sometimes I have trouble putting the transfers back on the sheet so what I do is I flip over the transfer and then put the paper on the transfer shiny side on the sticky side there we go oh I'm so glad I tried that Isn't it pretty? Let me get the... So here's the ink and here's the chalk. Sorry, this is backwards. I don't know if you can see the metallic. It's like metallically glittery. It's really pretty. And I don't know if you can see the inside of the card over there very well. Okay, that's the wrong side. Oh, you can't see the glitter on there. This, these are glitter pens. Yeah, on the ink, you make it permanent if you heat set it. But I don't see no reason you have to heat set it on the paper. Let me check. Oh, it's still wet. So it may take a while for the ink to dry. The ink is much wetter than the chalk. So the ink is still a little bit wet. But I think once we just let it dry, I could probably use the hair dryer on it it would be fine. You only have to heat set it to make it permanent. Um, I think it'll be fine if you just let it air dry. Uh, I could probably use the hair dryer on it too. 
Uh, we've never inked on a card before on cardstock, but today I used chalk and then I experimented with ink and it works with ink too. Joan's so funny. Yeah, has anyone here uh, tried the ink on paper? I know Jamie has used the Chocouture ink on windows. She says it took a long time to dry, but it was really pretty. And you can chalk on your windows, like snowflakes. They have chalk trans snowflake transfers and so many beautiful Christmas ones. And then in February, they're having so many more transfers in their new catalog. Kathy, we already finished. We did a chalk couture um, Christmas card. I didn't actually glue it together. I guess I should glue this on, huh? So there's the chalk couture paste. And then I just experimented with ink. So I just did it on the scrap paper. Which is not going to be scrap. I'm going to cut that out. Um, Bobby, the ink pads are for if you're doing fabric or putting it inside a shirt. The ink uh, mats are really good to put inside a shirt because it holds your shirt down really flat. And so the transfer can stick to it and it all stays in one place and it doesn't slide around at all. It just makes things much easier. But then you have to take the ink mat out before you iron it on. This is a great company to get involved with because it's pretty new. It's less than two years old. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go now. Have an awesome afternoon. If you have any questions, put them in the comments and I'll try to answer them. If you're watching the replay or anything, and uh, remember tomorrow, 11 a.m., we're doing Cricut Design Space class. And after class, we're going to open viewer mail. There's a lot of it. All right, guys. Love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Merry Christmas if I don't see you.